It's lights in the night. What is that? I don't know. Numbers. Like a signal, maybe. There was a break-in at the supply depot last night. We saw lights. They looked like they were coming from near the army depot. It's spies. What is it? Stephen's ship was sunk. Do you want to fight the war and catch some spies? There's someone out there. Get down. Over there. Do you reckon we should go get some? No. I want to make sure. Uh, 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 who was that? Who was that? I don't know. I reckon this is where he fell down. He's not been gone long. Hey, up! That's army. Reckon you found your thief? This is proof. It's not enough. Well, what would be enough? Find him. Find him and catch him. Now, he's not going to want to go back to the woods. He's bound to think we've told the army or the police or someone. They could be waiting for him. And he don't dare go back to the depot, most likely. But he's still got to eat. Where's he going to get food? The same place we do. The allotments and fields and that. So that's where we catch him, then? Got any paper? Yeah. Right, we can put lookouts here, here, and here. And the rest of us will hold up over here, over that side, wait for him to come to us. I've got to go to a meeting with the Sea Scouts. Edward, would you mind, when you finish the rotors, going around distributing them? Everybody needs a copy. Yes, Father. Harriet, you look after Sam. Make sure he brushes his teeth. And I mean all round, not just at the front. Yes, Daddy. Good girl. How long's that gonna take? Why? I'm just asking. You got somewhere you need to be? No. You heard what Father said. You have to stay in and look after Sam. Who's looking after me? Harriet is. And you're looking after her too. So if she does anything, goes out of the house or anything like that, you tell me and Daddy, all right? All right. Of your sight. Go and brush your teeth. Edward said not let you out of my sight. Well, Edward's a pill. You were going out, weren't you? With the army. It's nothing to do with you. You can go. I won't tell. If you let me come too. What? I want to come. I want to catch spies too. And you can't go if I don't go too. You'd have to do exactly what I say.
Stephen? Stop it! He's not a spy! Spy! He's not a spy, all right! Everyone calm down! What's going on? Jimmy, take Sam home, would you? Is that Stephen? Jimmy, take him home. This isn't what it looks like, all right? Are you all right? Come on. Go on, all of you! Go home. It's over. Did everyone get the new rotors? Just Bobby and Stan Mills left. They're at the crossroads out of town. Oh, Edward. Stop in at home on your way, would you? Make sure that Harriet's put Sam to bed. We thought you were dead. I mean, we heard you were coming back, but then there was no sign of you. Violet thinks you're dead. Your mum and dad think you're dead. Why didn't you go home? I can't. Why not? You don't understand. You don't know that about it. About what? About what it's like. Tell us then. I, I can't. Stephen, it's me. Why can't you go home? All right, to start off with. You know, always proud. All of us together, pals, and that. Me and Tom Fletch and Barry. You're stuck in the trenches, half rotten from the wet, and no way to keep warm. But it's. It's all right, kind of, because we were your mates. Fletcher was right next to me. Hands me his mug of tea and says, all that, Steve, I'm just going for a leak. And then, uh, shot him through the head. Right next to me. And then they said, um, said we were supposed to attack. Come on, lads. We're going over top, fix bayonets. We went over top. All of us blundering through mud and shallows, and they're shooting at us. Machine guns was everywhere. <laughs> all over, you can't hear right, you can't see right, it's all. What happened? Tripped over. Some bit of metal went through my leg. I just tripped. I couldn't get up in the old island without me. What happened then, Stephen? You all died. Everyone. Every one of us. Barry. Tom. Everyone. I should have been with him. Don't say that. You know, I should have. You know, I just I just fell. It was just chance. If I if I hadn't, then I would have been with him. But you weren't. Yeah, but I should have been. Don't be daft. Why would you want to die? Violet and your mum and dad are at home. They don't care what you've done. They love you. 
You don't have to stay here. You can go home. It's all right. Where on earth have you... Harriet! She took you with her? She took you with her? No. Don't tell lies. Where is she? Where's Harriet? I don't know. Is this where she went? What are these? I don't know. It's not mine. Where did she get this? Edward, please, don't be cross. We were just catching spies. Edward, please, it was just a game. Edward! What's wrong? What is it? 11th, 11th, 15th. 24th. 24th. What is it, love? It's late. Hello, Mum. Dad? Stephen? Even be, eh? Come on. Hmm. Can't believe it. I know. Do you think it's like that for them all? All lads in trenches? I suppose. You got him on, though. We did that. Harriet. What? There's something I need to tell you. Well, go on, then. You know Mars found work? Yeah. She reckons she can get a place. Not need to hide out no more. Now that money's coming in, we could get a proper house again. That's great. In Whitby. But that's miles. I know. It's where the jobs are. Jobs are tech her anyway. Nothing's been settled. She ain't found out, but she's looking. Harriet, say something. When will you go? When she finds a place, I suppose. So we've still got time. Aye. Then we need to use it. Well, what for? Because we've had it wrong all the time, thinking it was the depot the spies were after. Well, it can't be, because that was Jimmy's dad first off and then Stephen. So the lights mean something else. They must do. And we still don't know what. Aye. All right, then. Good. Still work to be done. Right. I'll go to the sheep shed and keep watch. You best go home, see if Sam's all right. You did good tonight, Harry. Really. What's this? All right, I know, but it was just for an hour, and I sent Sam home with Jimmy. He's all right, isn't he, Sam? What? What your stupid army nonsense, this? That's just about something else. That's nothing. You know what this is? See these dates here? These when we lost ships. 
These when our supplies got torpedoed. These are exact days. What are you talking about? We only lost one ship. One ship from this port. Three more from down the coast. I mean, this information isn't even in the newspapers. It's guarded. And what's this? These numbers here. This is code, isn't it? This isn't your handwriting. Does it belong to Thomas Brown? No. Oh, they're not German. They're not the enemy. And why has Thomas Brown got all this military information written down? Lewis wrote them. The when he's seen the lights at night. There are no lights. And if there are, it's the Browns making them. Don't you dare. Thomas Brown's got you looking everywhere for your little spies. Everywhere but right in front of your face. Where are you going? I've got to tell the police. Edward, don't, please. You've got it wrong. Just talk to him and you'll see. I promise. Don't go to the police. Please. I thought you were going to bed. What's going on? I should ask you. What are you doing here? Not what to do with you. The coast. The harbour. So that's where you've been watching then, is it? Aye, so. Traitor. <laughs> Edward, stop it! Let him explain. All the dates of the ships that sailed, and those that got sunk. Does that make you proud? You and your German friends. <laughs> That's not my writing, it's Lewis's. I know. I told him. And what do you mean, all the ships that got sunk? There was more than one. Other well, towns lost ships too. These are the dates they were sunk. But how does Lewis know? Exactly, you tell me. The numbers are different. That's why I put crosses. See? Different numbers. Different lights. Like a different code, maybe. One code for when there's no ship going out, and a different one for when there is. The lights tell the submarines when to attack. There aren't any lights. You're making it up. There are two. They come right over the... the ridge. There. Get it down. Get it down. I've got a cup purse. I don't need one. There. So what is it? What's there? It says it's right over that ridge, but there's not there. Yes, there is. The ruins. That's perfect. That's just where a spy would want to be. We need to tell them now. There's a ship due out tonight. Come on. Where's my father? I don't know. You changed the rotor. I left about an hour ago. We need to use your bikes. You take that one. I'll warn the harbour, you get the police. Who are you giving orders? If we don't do this, people will die. Aye, all right. What about me? Stay here, wait for the father. You. Find Jimmy Crookshank, tell him to get the army to the ruins. What? We're not allowed to leave our post. Just do it. Hey, we're supposed to stay here! Has the ship left the port? Too late, lad. It's already off. The ship's gonna get torpedoed. There's a U-boat waiting for it. They've been warned it's coming out. Stop the ship! Please!
Armory's head! What's this? Don't move. If he moves, fire! All of you! We've got you surrounded, so don't move. Just stay right there. All right, that's his one chance. If he moves again, fire! There's nobody here, is there? It's just you. Coming up here on your own at night. You could get hurt. She's not on her own! What's she doing here, anyhow? Get off home! All of you! Stop right there! Evening, George. What's all this, then? Oh, you tell me. Some kind of kid's game. He's a spy. Don't be daft. So what's he doing here, then? That's enough. This lot set on me. I heard you did the same to the postman last year. Someone should tell their parents about this lot. Hey, give that back. See? He uses this to send his messages. I'm the harbour master, for heaven's sake. Of course I've got a signalling lamp. How do you expect ships to get in and out? He's lying. I've seen it from the sheep shed and the cottage. It's a code. There's numbers and fours and sevens, and, and they change if there's a ship or not. It's a different pattern. Give that back, please. Why don't you believe me? Come back here with that. Hey, just a moment. Give her a sec. Arresting you on suspicion of treason. Corporal, take him to the barracks. He's been using this to tell the Germans when our ships are coming out. There's a ship going out tonight. It's still in the port. My son managed to convince them to hold it. Well, thank God for the scouts. It wasn't us. It was Harriet. She worked it out. And Thomas Brown. Edward kind of helped too. Sleep well. One of the things I loved about your mother was how she kept surprising me. She was an extraordinary woman. Sometimes you remind me of her very much. She should have been alive. She would have been so proud of what you did tonight. I know I don't always understand you, Harry. But I do love you very much. Letting our Julie out, Mum says. I reckon it was that captain that told him to. That's wonderful. It's because you're a hero now. You are, though. No one can say anything against you now. You can come back. All of you. Back to your house. 
Mum's found a place in Whitby. It's right near to where she works, and there's room for us all. And she says we should all be together. When are you going? End of week. For good? Well, until war's over, at least. Then who knows? Could come back. If we win, I mean. Well, now we have to win. Well, we've still got till end of week. What are we going to do? I don't know. Catch more spies, maybe? More spies? Where there's one, there could be more. You're right. There could be. Of course, we'd have to get the army up to scratch. Sweep the countryside, do it proper. Everyone wants to join up now. Even the scouts want to be in our army. <laughs> Edward's that jealous. Maybe you can join. So long as he asks nicely and promises to do as he's told. <laughs> 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 